Hold on. This isn't vengeance. This is punishment. Dude, is this the Punisher? Welcome back, everybody. Glad you're here. Got another one for you. A uh, small song just popped up in my algorithm, as they are wont to do. This is called Castle in the Sky by a band called Within the Ruins. They only have about 34,000 subscribers, only about just, just over 20,000 views in the last week. Um, so it's definitely music I've never heard before. Music we're going to check out. So hold on, because I have no idea what's coming here. And uh, let's get this started. Okay, that wasn't what I was expecting. That was an interesting, started off kind of like a prog metal. Like the little synthesizers and then screamo. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's just the intro. I wonder if this has, does that this have lyrics? Oh, it does have lyrics. All right, hold on a second. Oh, here we go. Hold on. This isn't vengeance. This is punishment. And you will come to know me well. I thought that's what I heard. Everything I loved was ripped away from my hands in a carousel of bloodshed. Their blood soaked in the ground. What would you have done? My life, family taken from me. Hopeless, empty, left with nothing. Dude, is this the Punisher? I'm reading ahead here. Hold on. Tragedy has led to violence, and now I'm killing my way to justice. I'm not a hero. I'm a reminder, a white skull to show I am the monster. Castle in the sky. Frank Castle. Oh, this is oh, this is cool. Okay. I'm with you. <laughs> this is a song about the Punisher. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, his his family was killed on the carousel in the park right this isn't vengeance this is punishment blood soaked the ground what would you have done my fam my life family taken from me hopeless empty left with nothing and now i'm killing my way to just oh bring it Nice. Okay. All right. I'm not always a huge fan of black metal, death metal, grimo metal, whatever you want to call it. Um, but this one I like. 
This is because here's the thing, because I can recognize the instrumental breakdown, the blast beats from the drums, killing it. Love it. But over it, putting in that little, that lone guitar, picking out those notes, right? And the bass line is just driving. I can't, I, you know, I, for a screamo, I, the guy has got a pretty good voice. I mean, I don't, I don't know enough about that aspect of talent to, to really say anything about that. But I will tell you this, I understood what he was saying. So I appreciate that. Even in a scream, at least he's like articulating because I was able to pick out what he was saying. And, re- and, and I was right when I checked the lyrics, like I could pick out, like I thought it was the Punisher. And when I read the lyrics, it's like, yeah, that's what I heard. I heard Carousel Blood. I heard this is adventurous. This is punishment. So I can, so I appreciate that. If I can't understand what you're saying, you're turning me off, dude. But this is actually pretty good. I like it. This. That's okay. I'm sitting here trying to say, why is he calling it Castle in the Sky? Okay, Frank Castle, but Castle in the Sky? Like, he's talking about heaven, but he's also talking about the dream. You know, your dreams reside in the sky, and his dream was to have Castle in the Sky, the family castle, the dreams of the family in the future. And he'd, he would be do, he'd get, I'd give, I'd give anything to be with you, the castle in the sky to like living out that reality where you didn't die and where we lived happily ever after with the family. Right. See, I'm catching it. I'm catching it. Nice solo. Shaped by war, but now the war is within. This is just a different war zone. Punisher war zone, right? Great movie, by the way, if you haven't seen it. Um, maybe it's who I've been, always been. This isn't vengeance. This is punishment. I would take every life to save yours. Am I destroying my pain or myself? That's always been the conflict with, with Frank Castle and the Punisher. You know, I'd give, I'd give anything to be with you in the castle in the sky. He just, he's on this just vengeance mode and just wants to kill everything he presumes as a criminal because that's what, what, you know, they took from him. So he's just giving it back. But is he really just satisfied? Is he really out for justice or is he just corrupting his own soul by just, you know, dealing out all this pain and misery and death you know, killing everybody just to be, just if I could save you, but it's too late to save them. So he's just killing everybody, but to what end, right? That's always been the conflict within Frank Castle. And it's what makes him such a great, tragic character. You know, he had, he has the, he has a strict moral code that that's just, you know, for an anti-hero, it's a great code. He, I can remember 
being a fan of comic books, like I, I love Punisher. And I can remember back in the original Civil War, you know, he or no, uh, yeah, in Civil War, um, they were looking for numbers to take. He was he was sided up with Captain America and the outlaws pretty much siding up against Iron Man and everybody was on the government side. And the criminals came to them and were like, you know, they're coming after us as much as they're coming after you. And the villains wanted to team up and Frank blew two of them away right just right there. And Captain America loses it and just beats the crap out of him. And he's like, why don't you fight back? And he's like, like no, nope, not against you. He said, I mean, he would not raise his hand to Captain America because he because that was his ideal. And that's not who he was going to. He was willing to fight anybody else. Spider-Man, Iron Man. He didn't care about anybody else. But Captain America was his ideal. And when Captain America came against him, he wasn't going to. He sat there and took that beating. He still believed absolutely that he was right. Those guys were villains. They decided they deserved to die. So he meets out his justice every chance he gets, even in front of Captain America. But he's not going to raise his fist to Captain America. He's not going to. And, and, you know, eventually he had, you know, Captain America told him to get away. So he broke relations and went off. But it was it was a great moment. And it's a moment that sticks with you as a comic book here, as a comic book fan and as a Punisher fan, a Captain America fan. It's a moment that that sat with me for, you know, a couple decades now. And uh, it's just that's really cool. Just like hearing a song just come out of nowhere and be about the Punisher. It's awesome and done really well, man. It's not like cheesy or, you know, crappy or anything like it's really, really well done. And it's like pinging on some like little things in like some little subtle ways. And it's really cool to hear. I have nothing left to lose. Let me be done and join you. See, he just wants to die. He doesn't even care about himself. He just wants he he wants to join his family, right? Just let me be done. But he can't be done. He has to satisfy this need that's just this that's corrupted him now, and he's just he has to. There's still a villain out there. He has to take care of. There's still justice out there. He has his own personal justice. He has to meet out. And and he'll never be done. That's the cycle of violence and and conflict that he's put himself into. Awesome. I've lost everything. This is punishment. I've lost everything. This is punishment. And now you have a whole new take on the name of the Punisher. It's not just that he's punishing others for what he's lost, but because he couldn't save them, because he couldn't protect them. You know, he'd kill everybody to save them, but he couldn't. So now he's just killing everybody and punishing himself for that failure. Right. Great song, man. That's awesome. Listen, I'm going to I'm going to post that link below uh, to these guys within the ruins is the name of the band. I'm going to post a link to their channel. Go over there, subscribe, check out their stuff and um, hey, drop me a comment below and let me know if you like this. I got I got to know if you as a comic book fan, as a metal fan, as a music fan, as a lyric fan, you know, did you enjoy this? And while you're at it, hey, give me a thumbs up. It's not going to cost you a cent. I'd appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're always looking for music you've never heard before. And of course, share this with all your friends, neighbors, loved ones, and complete strangers. Get the word out, man. Pretty good channel over here. Trust me. In the meantime, I'm going to let you guys go because I think I'm going to go down the rabbit hole with these uh, Within the Ruin guys for a minute and check out some of their other stuff. So join me over there. I'll see you. You guys be good. Oh, and check out some of the other uh, stuff we've posted over here. Music you've never heard before. We've put up some pretty good ones lately. We've got a lot more coming.
In the meantime, y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Stay out of trouble. I love you. God loves you. Peace.